let's say that we have a square with side length of 1. The diagonal of that square would be equal to the square root of 2. But how much actually is that? The square root of 2 equals 1.4142135623730955. I can spend all day writing out the decimals for the square root of 2. And I still won't reach the end because it has an infinite decimal representation. The square root of 2 is irrational. An irrational number is a type of real number which cannot be represented as a simple fraction. It cannot be expressed in the form of ratio. But how to prove that? How do we know that the decimal representation of the square root of 2 doesn't end? Let's start our proof by assuming that the square root of 2 is rational. So it can be expressed as a ratio of two integers. Let's call those numbers a and b. One important thing is that a and b are relatively prime. That means they don't share any divisors greater than 1. So 1 is their greatest common divisor. If they shared any other divisors, we could just reduce the fraction to its lowest terms. Now let's square both sides of the equation. So 2 is equal to a squared over b squared. Now we can multiply both sides of the equation by b squared. And we have 2b squared is equal to a squared. From this, we can conclude that a squared must be even because it equals to some integer b squared times 2. Another important fact is that if we multiply an even number by an even number, we also get an even number. And the same goes for odd numbers. Odd number times odd number equals to an odd number. So, if a squared is even, it means that a also must be even. We can write a as 2 times k. k is an integer. Now we can replace a with 2k. We get 2 times b squared is equal to 4 times k squared. Now we can divide both sides of the equation by 2. And that gives us b squared equals 2k squared. It means that b also must be even, because b squared equals 2 times some integer. That is a contradiction. At the beginning, we said that a and b do not share any divisors greater than 1. If a is even and b is even, they share a common divisor of 2 so they are not relatively prime. It means that the square root of 2 can be rational. So, the square root of 2 is irrational.